What's up guys, it's Laura Baldessari with The Naked Donkey here and today we're going to be talking about things that let you know that you're Italian because I'm Italian through and through. Big thing for Italians is gold jewelry. We love getting gold jewelry. By the time I was five I had like three pairs of earrings, a couple of bracelets and even if you don't have a lot of gold you at least have a necklace with either the crucifix or a medallion of La Madonna or some saint or something like that. That's a surefire way to tell you're definitely Italian. But not everybody has a lot of gold, but there are other items that are around the house that kind of indicate, yep, this chick is definitely Italian. Number one, ta-da, my own pasta machine. And not the kind that you plug in and just add flour. This is the kind you have to like all by yourself and make your own pasta. See the picture? So if y'all want to come over for some homemade pasta, let's do it up. Oh yeah. I got one of these in my basement. I'm Italian for sure. This is called a damigiana. For those of you who don't know what the heck that is, um, it is full of homemade wine that's just aging right now. So this is where we store it. Uh, it's kind of like an Italian keg. And if you've got one of these in your basement, you're Italian. Being an Italian takes balls. Bocce balls, that is. Who wants to play? No household's complete unless you've got a bucket of some kind filled with these bocce balls. They come to every picnic, every family gathering. Whoop! If you got one of these bad boys in your house, you're definitely Italian. This is not a medieval torture device, even though that's what it looks like. It's a wine press. So if you got one of these hiding in your garage or in your basement, you might be Italian. <laughs> this next item <laughs> cracks me up every time I see it. Italians don't like throwing shit away. If it's still good, they'll find some use for it. Take, for example, this chair leg. My nana saw it and was like, that's still a good chair leg. What can I do to use it? I don't want to throw it away. It's still good. I know. I'll attach a mop head to the bottom and now I've got a fabulous duster. You're also Italian if when you go to a restaurant, you cannot stand it when you hear them say, um, I'll have the bruschetta. It's called bruschetta, not bruschetta. It's schetta, bruschetta, bruschetta. SCH makes a sk, like school. You go to school, you don't go to shul. So you say bruschetta, not bruschetta. Also, as a bonus, it's espresso, not espresso. Get it right, people. If you guys have any makeshift items like this in your house, let me know down in the comments below. I love to hear what other stuff that you guys make up. Uh, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. I really like that. And subscribe, share with all your friends. And we will see you guys next time. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Laura with the Naked Donkey. Hoping you guys all have a very Merry Christmas. And to all my Italian peoples out there, Ciao a tutti, buon Natale, e ci rivediamo presto. Ciao. Peace.